Welcome to episode one of The Gaff Show. I'm Richard Brownell, and if you haven't guessed it yet, today we'll be taking a look at Rockstar's Table Tennis. When Rockstar announced Table Tennis, many thought that it must be some sort of bizarre April Fool's joke, but the joke is on them. Rockstar's Table Tennis is a serious table tennis game, and a great one at that. Rockstar's goal with Table Tennis was to create an accurate simulation of the game, and it's clear that they did their homework. The player has four spins available for each stroke, which are mapped to the four face buttons. In play, these are color-coded, which is very unfortunate for the colorblind, as it is an important gameplay mechanic. Returning the ball using the same spin that was just used will put a counter spin on the ball. As the match is played, a focus meter at the top of the screen increases. Using the charge from the meter allows you to make focus shots, which can be used to do powerful shots on your opponent. If you let the focus meter max out, you go into full focus mode and your character will perform at his peak. All that power needs to be controlled though. Anybody who has played table tennis in real life knows how dreadfully easy it is to hit the ball off of the table. In Rockstar's Table Tennis, you are warned of your inevitable course to the floor with force feedback. If it vibrates just a little, you will probably be just at the edge. If it vibrates a lot, let go of the left stick immediately or you will likely hit it out. There are 11 playable characters to choose from, and each has their own stats, so pick whoever fits your playstyle best. While the variety in playable characters is probably enough, it would have been nice if Rockstar opted to include a character creation system of some sort, or at least included some unlockable characters from their other franchises. As it stands, the only unlockables are shirts and environments to play in. Modes in the game are also somewhat lacking. A training mode is provided to get you started, but after that there are only exhibition matches and a few tournaments to conquer. But because of how solid the gameplay is, those modes will probably be enough for most people. For players seeking an online thrill, several online modes have been provided. The regular matches pitch you against whoever happens to be online, but I've found that the ranked match, which puts players together based on skill level, produces better games. There is also a spectator mode allowing you to watch others play. Other than to beat the spectator achievement though, I can't think of any reason to use this mode. But it is there and has several views to choose from. Something you've probably noticed from watching this far, even in the small format we distribute in, is that Rockstar's table tennis looks fantastic. The presentation can be a bit dark in some of the environments, but the gameplay is very smooth and the players are incredibly detailed even down to the sweat that builds up as they play the games. The tables even show white scuff marks from the balls. If you are looking for a table tennis game, you don't have many choices on any system. But Rockstar didn't see the lack of competition as a chance to cheap out. Rockstar's Table Tennis is a great table tennis game, very accessible and a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of The Gaff Show. Stay tuned each week as we cover the latest video games you want to play and some that you don't.